Well, good morning. It is a road trip kind of day. It's not very pleasant weather. I've already got drenched in the rain. Not that you can tell now. We are going to see Megan. It is her boyfriend's birthday. We are going to rugby. I've never been to rugby today. Are we missing the rugby by going to rugby? Is there rugby on today? I don't know. I haven't even checked. So, we are going to rugby. Protesting. Jeff's protesting. And why are you protesting? Strike it. I'm oh, sorry, it's my hand in the way. He can't see the road now. And we've just had to pick up a parcel on the way, and this is the current situation of me in the car. So Jeff had a little Hollister delivery, so he ordered some stuff because he had do have a discount code. Because he had a discount code, so we got some aftershave, which I've already opened to smell, and some shorts in there as well. So there we are. Double cheeseburger for my breakfast. There you go, that is my breakfast today. I've just realised that we've not even left Wales and it's stopped raining. How good is that? There's a lovely rainbow, but Jeff's just pointed out that we've never had a pot of gold at the end of it. <laughs> Stopping for a little something to eat at a beef eater en route. Well, that sky looks amazing. The beef eater that we stopped at was at Ross on Wye, and it was a perfect distance between the two houses, so it was about an hour and 15 minutes from each of them. And it was a lovely little location, very quiet when we got in there, but when we were leaving, it was really, really busy. And I opted for the melted barbecue chicken, I think it was called, just like the barbecue chicken stack from Harvester, of course arrived at Premier Inn, we're going to check into our lovely room, which I of course will show you. Here we are. So of course I'm going to start with the room tour while it's nice and tidy. And there you go, it's got everything you need. So we've got a hair dryer with a nice little makeup station, I suppose, to dry your hair and put your makeup on. Some extra, I don't know what that'll be, whether it'll be pillows or duvets or whatever. Hangers, a little fan if it gets too hot, definitely not going to need that in this weather. We've got the coffee and tea station and a bin and a joining door, I guess, for next door, which we're not sharing with. We've got a TV on the wall. And this is actually the first Premier Inn. So there's the bed with obviously the wall art and some lights and a view of the car park. Now, we are well situated. This is the first Premier Inn I've been for a long time that hasn't had the bed here. Because normally they've got the single bed, haven't they? The, like the sofa instead of a chair. Yeah. But there we are, it's fine. It's got a little desk and some nice lighting, which I'm going to put on. There we are. And I'm going to show you into the bathroom, which is very basic. I mean, it's, yeah, it's all you need. It's got, <laughs> got a sink and a nice door that you can separate. Or you can have it as one. Ta -da. So there we are, a toilet and a shower and a back. And that concludes our room tour today. We are going to have a little relax and then I'm going to get ready and Jeff is going to watch telly apparently. And I'll catch you later. Spent the evening at Elliot's house playing games and just having a general lovely time. Well, good morning. It is Sunday morning. It is a lovely day. I'm going to turn you around so you can see my view at the moment. There we are. So we are in a really good location. So just over there where you can see the cars, there is a main road. And then just to the right of that main road, there is a shopping park. So we're going to pop over and have a little look at that shopping park or retail park or whatever you want to call it. And see what nice things they've got there. It might just be window shopping. We might pick up a few bargains. Who knows? But first breakfast.
So, of course, all of that window shopping makes you hungry. We're better a place to stop than the harvester. I started off with a salad and then I had lovely, yummy fish and chips. It is Monday and I am back to work. And for my dinner today, I nearly said breakfast, I have got the naked long grain rice, the katsu curry one, some tomatoes which I've put in there as well, or I will put in there. And I've got banana and an easy peeler all together is 410 calories. For my tea today, I have literally just got a slice of toasty bread with some butter, tuna mayo, 326 calories altogether. And I think it's because we spent the weekend away and I had a lot of food and I just wasn't feeling like eating much today. Well, good morning. It has been a couple of days since I recorded anything. I think I did my food yesterday. But my whole routine is out of the window, not as in what the food I'm eating, because I didn't really eat a lot yesterday. But I'm going to try and remember to pick up my camera today. There's been so many things going on. I'm trying to do so many different things at once, which is not unlike me. Obviously, I told you on Saturday when I was recording that I hadn't done my Boost 45. So I am going to start that back today because I didn't even start it back the next day because we were away. And I've got excuses because I'm full of them, me. So that is my plan today. I'm going to get out for a walk because I was feeling so much better just from doing a little bit of routine. I've only run down the stairs and look how unfit I am. I'm going to go to work. I will catch up with you later on. And for my breakfast today, I have just got a banana and an easy peeler for 110 calories. My dinner today is a Cajun mugshot. I have put some tomatoes in there because I really liked it in the rice yesterday. I've got an easy peeler all together, 275 calories pop to Costco and I did try and have a jacket potato but we were there quite late and the only thing they had left that I fancied was a chicken bake and these are 700 calories. Well it's been a little while since I've done one of these. I've been to Costco and I've got a little Costco haul to show you the stuff that I picked up while I was there. So nothing major, just a very little trip and we've picked up a pack of 40. In fact let me get my receipt. Well, I put paid for that because I couldn't find it. Put paid for that, put paid to that. Okay, so I have got a pack of 40 stir fry noodles. These are just like the super noodle type things. This was, I think, £11 something for the box of 40, so not bad. We've got some Leno, and it's the 250 washes. We have, this is three lots of plain tortillas. And they've, they're the nice, easy open packs. So you can reseal them like those. We have some tomato ketchup. Three of those. That was 8 99 We have two hazelnut spread. Like these because they're no palm oil. And these were 7 99 We've got a pack of 24 free-range eggs. Now, these I thought were a bargain. These were £4.15 for all of them. And I'm having terrible trouble getting eggs at the moment. So that's obviously very handy. We've got premium crispy chicken nuggets. Now these are the nicest chicken nuggets you'll ever taste if you haven't already. They are expensive, but they are real chicken. So they're not processed. There is just chicken breast coated in breadcrumbs and they're 12 I think for the pack. And they are one and a half kilos, no, two kilos. So that's not bad at all. We've got easy peelers. Oh, and I thought I checked them, but there we are. That's not looking too grand. We've got fragrant rice. This has gone up. This is now £15. It used to be 13 but it's gone up. I think everything has. Buy it in bulk because obviously Jeff does love his rice, what we all do. And then because it's pancake day, we have got pancake mix today. Crusties. The kids used to have this all the time when they were younger. I say all the time, like on a weekend or whatever, not like every day. But I can't remember how much it was. I think it was £8. And it lasts for absolutely ages. And in that... Oh my god, how many kilos is it? Does it say? Oh, that is 4.53 kilos in weight. But like I say, it lasts ages. And obviously we've got some chocolate spread to go on the top. And what I forgot to say is these are like the American pancakes. So the, the thick, fluffy ones, they're very nice. And that is my little Costco haul today. Not a huge amount, but I still spent over £100. Because there was also a massive thing of toilet rolls that I forgot about. So I get the pleasure of this holy pancake, which Tasha made. I'm not fussy. 
doesn't matter, it all tastes the same. And for all my snacks today, including the Whisper and the Pancake and my milk, 524 calories. Good morning, it is Wednesday, it is hump day. If I was in a school, it would be half term. Oh, I miss those days. I do, but then I don't because I can now holiday whenever I like. Obviously, if nobody else is off at the same time as me. But I'm going to work and then I think we're going to be going out this evening, just popping over to friends. I'm going to pop over to mums and that is my day sorted because you know what it's like. You get work over and done with and then you pop out for an hour or two and then it's, for me anyway, it's nearly my bedtime. Anyway, I'm going to catch up with you in a little bit later. For my breakfast again today, because I'm having it a lot, I'm having an easy peeler and a banana for 110 calories. Well, I'd completely forgotten with it being half term that I'd made arrangements to meet my cousin who was a teacher. We went to a lovely local restaurant. I have been there before. They made me this gorgeous coffee art and then I had Eggs Benny. It was hands down the best Eggs Benedict I've ever tasted. And then we ended up going to my friends. I had two pieces of KFC. There's only one here, but I had an extra one. Hot wings and then some rice and gravy. And it was all going so well until they broke out the chocolates and the millionaire bites. And I didn't keep track of what was going in my mouth and just kept putting one after another into my mouth. There we are. Draw the line and back to it the next day. I have got a banana and an easy peeler for 110 calories for my breakfast. Well, I've decided to come out for a walk at lunchtime today just because it's a nice dry, very fresh day. I'm gonna grab some food in Tesco's and then go back to the office and eat it. So I opted for the chicken Caesar wrap with some pineapple and an oasis today. For the chicken Caesar wrap and the pineapple, it was 510 calories. I didn't end up having the oasis and I will have that one day next week. Let me show you a little surprise in my stew. Yes, that is correct. You do see an egg. When I asked Jeff what it was for, he said it's part of the deal. I did say that I've never eaten a boiled egg with my stew before and I'm not going to start now, but I think I need to give it a try. And there we go. There's an egg in my stew. <laughs> and it was surprisingly tasty. This is 206 calories altogether. And for a snack, a hot cross bun with 12 grams of butter for 245 calories. Well, that was a very long video and thank you so much if you're still here and watching this. What I am going to do is, I've put my calories for most of my meals there. There were three days that I did go over. One of them will be shown on here. The other two, the one day was the party day when we went to Megan's boyfriend's for his birthday and I had party food afterwards. The other day it was Wednesday night, I think it was, where we had lots of chocolates. Well, I say we, I use that term loosely, probably mostly me. And the Millionaire Bites, and I mean, I didn't eat all of them myself, obviously, but it would have taken me over my calories because I think I only had about 62 left that day. It is what it is. I am weighing in the morning. Am I looking forward to it or am I scared? <laughs> I think looking back as I've been editing, some days were okay, other days were not so okay. So I'm kind of hoping that I'll come in w with potentially, I'm going to be cheeky, with a, with a loss. Um, and that is because there are calories left over for other days. So I'm hoping that if I've done it properly and I've balanced things out as I can do or as we can do, because this is what this is what it's about, isn't it? It's not about restricting yourself constantly. It's about making that call sometimes and allowing yourself the things that you want as well. So I'm a little bit hopeful, whether, you know, rightly or wrongly, who knows? We will find out tomorrow morning. Yes, we will. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.